Marlene Tinsley, born and raised here in Inglewood in the Fourth Ward on Humphrey Street, which wasn't one of the best streets in Inglewood. We had a tavern called the Blue Moon on the corner of J Street and Humphrey Street, and all the winos hung out at that bar. Those winos, when I grew up and had to go to work and commute to New York because being black, you couldn't get an office job in Inglewood. If you had a degree, you couldn't get a job in Inglewood. And even uh, those that, white people that didn't graduate had the jobs that we couldn't get. So I would commute to New York every day, and every Wednesday I went to the amateur hour at the Apollo Theater for my job and get the last bus to Inglewood get off on Palisade Avenue and all those winos at that bar waited for me every Wednesday until 3.30 in the morning to walk down Humphrey Street. They looked out for me and waited until I got home in my house. They all were my friends, friends of my parents, and they were wonderful people. They had a problem, drinking problem, but they were wonderful people. I miss all of them. They're all dead and gone, the majority of them. So growing up on Humphrey Street, we were all poor. In the fourth ward, we were all poor, all in the same situation. And I think that's why we're so close. All the parents looked out for everybody else's child. They had a right to chastise us if they wanted to. And, and, in, turn, and in turn, we knew each other's parents' names, the fathers, the mothers. And there's another one that grew up with me. He was on J Street. That's supposed to be one of the poorest streets in our ward, OK? Then we had, you heard me announce the dump rats. At the end of my street, that was the city dump. And all the people that lived down there, we called them dump rats because they were big, fat rats running all over the place. And then it became the army base, OK? And they cleaned up the dump. But every one of those people in the fourth ward, majority, and the dump rats were all very successful. When I say that, they had good jobs. They ended up with good pensions and had a good life. Raise our kids here. We, we never locked our door on Humphrey Street. We had a skeleton key. That opened anybody's door. So we never locked our doors. You just walk in and out. There was no crime. I'm looking at you. Should I look at the camera? <laughs> So it was just it was just a, a wonderful situation here. That's why we all love each other and glad to see each other forever. Now all of our children include my niece here, born and raised. They're all young adults in their fifties and we're up in our seventies and eighties. And then their children are now grown. So they're the ones that are, are participating in this. And when we're all dead and gone, they'll take over, hopefully, for us. And this will go on, if this rink is still available. The city of Inglewood has decided it's been a 20-year lease. It's over. And they're going to take this rink back. And they don't know what they intend to do with it as yet. So the man that leases this, he finally gave us permission to hold our affair because they allowed him to book the hockey league up for the September and till the um, December. And after that, they don't know what they'll do. So this may not be available to us anymore. There's no place in England that would hold 800 happy, loving black people. And if we take it out of town, it'll cost too much money at a banquet hall, and they won't be able to afford to come, and they won't come. It's hard enough to get $25 to come to this. We never know until the last three days whether we can pay back the expenses. Then the last three days is overwhelming, OK? So we take, we're not a club. So we take our little money and buy the gifts and raffle them off for free. Sometimes we have enough to kick out the little scholarships to people who we know need help with their kids, their grandkids are going off to college. And that's it. We don't band together again until three years. And then we all kick in a lot of money come up with all the deposits, we're looking at thousands, just to get it going again. Domestics. That's right. You know, so OK, create. my mother was a domestic employee, and my father worked in the paper factory. So when the, when the Depression came, he had a job. And she had a job cleaning Miss Ann's house. So we ate well. In fact, most of us did in the fourth world, because most of the mothers were domestic employees. Now, white women didn't have to go to work. They stayed home with their children. Black women worked, all of them, cleaning houses or ironing clothes in the basements. We call them cellars because the basements weren't finished in those days. 
just cellars with whitewash on the wall. But we had more fun going to parties in those cellars. We'd get up against the wall and grind. And when we got home, the parents would say, what's all that white stuff on your clothes? I don't know. That's from grinding in the cellars. We had a good time. Good time. This your friend? That's my niece, you know. All right. So and you're, how you doing? Good to see you, Robert Lee. All right. Oh, hey, Junior. Good to see you, Robert Lee. All right. Good to see you, Bowman. These are all the little boys under me. They're not little no more. <laughs> Robert Lee wasn't too far behind me, all right? <laughs> he does uh, on the internet about the Fourth Ward, the history of the Fourth Ward. He has a grin. He's, it's been on already with Moose. Oh, yeah. Oh, Tom Monroe talking shop. about Inglewood. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, wait. That is lovely. Look at that. Yeah, that's Kenneth's brother's daughter. Uh-huh. Well, his father. Huh? I'm Marlene. White. Humphrey Street. I married Kenneth. Robert Lee, what's the matter with you? His father, this this man right here, this man and I his father, hold, hold up, let me tell you something for history. His, hold it, Helen. His father was a businessman. We didn't have a lot of black businessmen. But his father was a contractor. He had great big trucks and bulldozers. And we were just so proud that they could hire this black man to do all that kind of work. That was his Thank father, you, Mr. Very Eli well. Fisher. Levi. Levi Fisher. And guess what? Uh-huh. He had the really biggest, blackest fish tail of Cadillac. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. Based on that, yes, he did. Still, okay. Molly, it still continues. I know. Excavation That's right. With these two now, this man in the there. red shirt, Mr. Bowman, his grandfather was also a businessman. We had a few black business people, and, and, and we had black females who had beauty parlors. Okay, and name some more. Who else did we have that, that had their own businesses? Well, you had Pop Smith. Uh, well, I used to get okay. ice cream. Duffy, Duffy, Duffy oh. Yes, and Mr. Ta Mr. Duffy. Mr. Duffy. Mr. We Mr. had Black West and White Taxi Cab. Andy's Restaurant, Miss Price, 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 and then, Andy's restaurant, Mr. Mr. Price yeah. on yeah. Price Street. Mr. Mr. Mills, oil Mr. Mills had the oil yeah. company, that's right. Yeah. Harry yeah. and don't Vivian get, Mills. And don't forget, don't forget, what's his name? Don't forget Mays Grocery. Don't, don't forget McCoke. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Mr. McCoke. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And every Memorial Day, we all ended up in McKay Park oh, having a picnic. That's all it. the churches that's sold food. Every Memorial Day after the parade. We'd all meet in McKay Park. And you could drive your car around at that time. And showboat if you had a car. So I want to ask you a question. What they did with what they've done with this That's true. You're right. You're right. As I was saying to mm -hmm. Joe, this mm -hmm. used to be, um, ro they used to roller skate. Well, what happened? Let me tell you the history on that. This was roller skating in the summer and ice skating in the winter. But what happened is, the year they went with roller skating, Bergenfield brought the uh, bowling alley and made an indoor rink. skating rink. Yep. So kids figured they can go indoor with music playing any time, day or night. Here was only in the daytime, and it was outdoors. This is an open pavilion. It's not closed in. So they lost. It became a white elephant. Okay? Hockey, black kids don't skate. So only the white people are taking advantage of this place. It's leased out, and they play hockey. Okay? okay? Then, hold it, Hackensack opened up a huge indoor ice skating rink. Uh -huh, uh -huh. They took away the business from this place. Okay. So he's scuffling to survive with a few teams who could not get into Hackensack because mm -hmm. the Olympic mm -hmm. champions practiced there. Uh, okay? okay. Molly, now either Joe said it or, mm -hmm. or, or, or David said, still with this place, mm -hmm. there can be a lot more done sure. to That's bring it. They kids just home. give it back to recreation. Of course. Now, of course. this man's lease is up. They gave him a 20 year lease. It's up. The city hasn't made a decision as yet. It's been six months as to what they're going to do with it. Mm -hmm. So they, that's why we couldn't get the rink uh -huh, for the last uh -huh. month or two. Uh -huh. They decided, the city, well, since we don't know what we're going to do, we will let you book the hockey season for this season only until they make up their mind. So being that he can do that, he could rent us this place. Otherwise, it was going to close down, yeah. period. Uh, period. Now, if they take it back 
and give it to recreation, maybe it'll make it into a, a, a rink again because there's no roller skating rink in Bergen County anymore. Right. Not only the one in, 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 in uh, Montville closed down. Yeah. Yeah. Gone. Not only do they want, Gone. Not only do they want the park, they want a thousand. You think so? That's bottom line. That might be it. That might be it. They want a thousand. Give me some love and give me some good idea. Ah. <laughs> you see all that love in that building tonight? Was it there? Was the love there? Not a curse word spoken. 800 people. And not a curse word. I love y'all. I love y'all. <laughs>